Now that we're done detailing, we can move on to the back side and start off with our no guard all the way open, creating our second guideline. Always make sure to close the lever midway and all the way closed and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We are right on top of the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you detail as much as possible here. We're also going to use this same guard and the leopard to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. This is right on top of the occipital bone, so you want to make sure it connects and flows. Remember, you're using this same guard to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we're using our one and a half guard to erase the line completely. Before we use our clipper of a comb method, we're going to use our three guard all the way open to debulk a little bit. Here we're using our vertical and horizontal cuts to make sure that the fade connects to the bottom. Now that we're done with the back, we're moving on to his hairline, and before we line him up, we comb down his baby hairs and debulk them with the one guard all the way open. Now we're going to use our NST outliners to start off in the middle and work our way to the sides. You want to make sure not to press too hard and make sure that the hair is feeding into the teeth of the trimmer. We're making sure not to take the corners too deep and keep the vertical bars as natural as possible without sacrificing any crispiness.
As you can see here, we're making we're combing down all the baby hairs and we're making sure we manipulate the hair into laying down. His hair was being a little tough right here. We are gonna go over with our clip roll comb and make sure we deep bulk right here. We're just making sure that the hair lays down. Now we're using our NST outliners to make it as crispy as possible. As you can see, we're making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated, man. Thank you. Also, if you made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below of my subscriber count, and I'm 100% going to reply to you guys' comments. Now that we're done lining them up and doing our final touches, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we use our razor, we're going to lather up the skin with our Elegant Shave Gel just so, just so that the razor could glide better. When you're using your razor, you want to use your opposite hand to stretch the skin as much as possible and keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. This is going to lower the chance of you cutting somebody. 